Um, my name is Michael Gale, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-G-A-Y-L-E. Um, and I'll be speaking about Gregor, Grand Gregor Mandel and his like research on hereditary, hereditary genetics. So here we have Gregor Mandel, and um, he is a he was a researcher and gardener that he pretty much researched and did experiments with pea plants in order to find the fundamental laws that we use in genetic genetics today. Um, he was born July 20th in 1822 um, in Heisendorf, um, a German-speaking family in Heisendorf, which was a part of the Austrian Empire, but is now known as um, Hinsi in um, the Czech Republic today. He was born um, to a family of farmers who had owned their farm for about 130 years, um, as quoted from Angela Johnson in her TED Talks. Um, while in elementary school, around that age, he was inspired by one of his teachers to pursue science so um, he attended a gymnasium, which was a preparatory school for like college back in the day. And um, between 1840 and 1843, he went to a philosophy university where he studied philosophy. Um, in 1843, he left um, because he was like slightly depressed because of homesickness, and he was also facing like back and forth sicknesses. Um, at the same time. In 1843, um, he became an Augustinian monk in um, Brno in the Czech Republic. And that's where he got his name, um, his official name, Gregor, because his original name is Joanne Mandel. Um, and, the, and 1851, after like a seven year gap um, of just become, being a monk, he went to the University of Vienna and he studied under a botanist no, um, known as Chris. Christian Doppler, who the Doppler effect is named after. Um, so while studying under him, he like he started coming up with ideas like um, of doing research. When he was um, around this age, he was like researching in honeybees and mice, but people were saying that like um, the bees became aggressive because of his selective breeding, so they told him to do something else that wasn't as harmful. Um, that's also said by Angela Johnson in her TED Talks. Um, so in 1854, after spending time at the University of Vienna, he went back to Brno and started um, doing his official research. He chose pea plants to study because they were easy to breed. They were distinguishable um, between each type. And he could like um, see different, the differences in the plants. Um, he came up with two major um, laws while doing his research. Um, the first one was Mendel's Law of Segregation, which pretty much says that there are recessive and dominant traits that are passed down from the parents into their offspring. And his second law was the Law of Independent Assortment, saying that um, traits are passed down independently and not based on the passing down of other traits. So, and um, he was writing this down in his journal, and he had published the journal, and it was called The Experiments of Plant Hybridization. Um, during this time, there was like a general misconceptions about how trades were passed down. So um, his research was able to like falsify those claims, but like, no one really believed him at the time because he didn't have a lot of science, a lot of other scientists backing his work. So throughout his lifetime, he wasn't really recognized for all his research until after he died. So um, afterwards, after doing his research, um, he became an abbot, which is like a, a higher title within um, the monastery in Bruno. And um, unfortunately, due to his declining health um, and his responsibilities with the church, he wasn't able to focus on his research as much um, so he just kind of, um, he kind of stopped after these two major laws that he founded. And um, in, on January 6th in 1884, at the age of 61, he passed away due to his sicknesses and his fading eyesight. So um, at the time, his research was still largely unknown. He wasn't really heard of at the time. It wasn't until like mid-1900s when other scientists started doing similar research to his 
that they were able to validate his claims and they gave him credit. They named his two laws, the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment, um, the Mandel laws. And um, thanks to Mandel and his research, like they are now like the fundamentals of hereditary genetics. And um, he was dubbed the father of modern genetics. Thank you.